of sight. Yeah. That is exactly what happened to Dave Greenwood today. Here he is. Mm, well, he's one of a dozen blind military veterans who got back behind the wheel in Cheshire. Oh, you bad and it's not just old family saloon cars for him. <laughs> Mark Edison was there. Military men on a mission. What do you think of the hovercraft so far? Old habits die hard before action. The briefing. These veterans all say they miss motoring. Today they were driving blind. The anticipation clear to all. It was a, a, a professional driving film, but I've never been in a hovercraft. And the guy says that thing will do 130 mile an hour. Watch out, Greenwood's about. Watch <laughs> out, Greenwood's about. Ed Greenwood lost his sight after an accident 29 years ago. This is the first time he's been behind the wheel of any vehicle since. What were you doing yesterday, then? And he's chosen to fly... Oh, I've got that, got that bit out. ...a hovercraft. The event in Frontier was organised by the Blind Veterans Association. There is a fun side to it, but there's also a rehabilitation side to that as well. And that's the focus for us, is to give the guys and girls out there who remember us Something positive to work towards. Right right. Hovercraft weren't the only weapons of choice on offer to the visually impaired veterans. Dune buggies too, on a challenging circuit. Fantastic experience. I've not been on a hovercraft before. Yeah. It was like fun on there. Well, I was looking forward to it all the week, and it's, it's exceeded my expectations. Even though these veterans have got a disability, it doesn't stop them being hugely competitive. Dave has had his foot right down all the way around that lap. Let's find out how he thinks he got on. Absolutely fabulous. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> the end of each round, a Top Gear style finale for the star in the reasonably priced hovercraft. One minute, 40, three seconds. I'm optimistic for the wheel. And by the way, you've got to pay for me laundry. I'm wet. <laughs> this is nearly the first lap. This week, they're driving tanks, too. Mark Edwardson, BBC Northwest Tonight, Frontier. Well, don't, 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 don't.